please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Good evening, students, parents, and faculty. We have an important message for you tonight. From your kids, they're gonna be saying hi to you, so let's see what they've got. Hey, good morning. Would you like to say anything to your parents tonight? Um, stop grounding me. It's not funny. They're already on the ground. <laughs> you sure? Do you wanna say anything to your parents tonight? Hi, Mom. I love you. Scout loves you. We're gonna go up, 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 up. I'm shivering. Sam! Do you want to say anything to them? Um, hi. Sam says hi. I love Sam. Bye. My parents. Hi, Mom. Love you. She loves you. Do you want to say anything to your parents? Hi, Mom. Hi, Laura. <laughs> hi, Lor. Hi, Lor. Hi, Lor. Love you. Do you want to say anything to Mommy and Daddy tonight? Mom and Dad? Yeah. No. No? No. Not like you love, you appreciate them, nothing? I don't... Thanks for everything you've done? No. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Dad. <laughs> do you love and appreciate everything they do for you? Sometimes. Uh, have fun. Have fun, parents. Joy coming to open house tonight? Well, if she does or she sees this on YouTube, conveniently, West Ranch TV's YouTube. So... For those of you parents that did show up tonight, thank you. Your kids had a lot to say about you, so enjoy your night here. Adios. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to West Ranch High School's Open House. Tonight is a very special night because we get to share what West Ranch and West Ranch TV is all about. We wanted to welcome our incoming freshmen and their parents to tune in to tonight's show and get a closer look at some of our upcoming sporting events. We will also feature a special film that our very own crew members produced. I'm Savannah Burrows. And I'm Hannah Greenwald. Today is Thursday, March 20th, and you're watching West Ranch TV. Hi. Why she's so sign I don't think I know you like I used to do Home like I used to do Yo As we kick off tonight's show, ASB has been working tirelessly to plan our upcoming prom on April 27th. They have prepared many fun activities this past week, preparing for the rally tomorrow morning. So please make sure to tell your kids to wear pink or blue for the theme Shark Boy vs. Lava Girl. If you are of Fili Filipino descent, the Santa Clarita Filipino Association is offering scholarships to students who work here in Santa Clarita. You must have at least a 3.5 GPA to apply, and for more information, see Mrs. Kazan in the counseling office. Our spring sports teams have been taking West Ranch by storm this season, and many teams have received titles in first place. Our reporter Maddie Marks had the chance to speak with one of our sports teams who makes it their mission to win league title once again. Oh my. That's right. I'm here with Brandon Wire and Matt Striplin, two of our varsity West Ranch baseball players. So Brandon, when and where is your big game tomorrow? Our game is tomorrow against Valencia at Valencia at 3.30. And Matt, what have you guys been doing to prepare for this big game? Uh, we've been practicing hard, watching film on opposing pitchers, and we're just excited to come out and win tomorrow. And why should people come out and support you guys? Uh, Valencia is our league rival, and we are currently tied for first, so this game means a lot to us. And lastly, Matt, what has been your favorite part about this season so far? Uh, my, my favorite part has just been uh, competing against all the Foothill League teams, and uh, hopefully we come out and win tomorrow. Well, thank you both for coming down. Cats, make sure to check out their big game tomorrow. That's all for me. Let's take it back to the anchors. Thanks, Maddie. Make sure to check out our amazing West Ranch baseball team this weekend. There are many Rancho Pico students and parents here tonight, and our correspondent Katie Drakowski is live in the studio with a few incoming Wildcat freshmen to hear all about what they're looking forward to next year. Katie, what's going on? Thanks, Savannah. Yes, I'm here with two future West Ranch students that are very excited to participate in today's show. So Avery, what are you most excited about for high school? I'm excited for the new classes and being in a new environment. And Sadarth, what are you interested in participating in? Uh, I want to do West Ranch TV and play basketball. 
All right. West Ranch proudly welcomes our incoming freshmen, and we are excited to see what the class of 2023 brings to our school. Now let's take it back to the hosts. Thanks, Katie. We can't wait to see some new faces here on campus next year. Just a few months ago, West Ranch had the incredible opportunity to work with and be a part of the Every 15 Minutes program, a program that highlights the importance of staying safe behind the wheel. This event touched students, staff, and parents of those who were part of the simulation made by the Sheriff's and Fire Department of Santa Clarita. A recap of this event was created by filmmakers Tyler, Max, and Joel with the help of many other West Ranch TV students. Let's take a look. What's your emergency? Oh my god, that was just a horrible accident. Okay, stay calm. Where did this happen? Can you tell me where you are? I'm going to get no hard. I'm going to
Every 15 minutes is one of the many projects Western TV worked hard on throughout this year. We'll get a closer look at other stories that our crew has produced as the night continues. We're your hosts for the second block of tonight's show. I'm Max Lin. And I'm Joel Yoon. The next box of Western TV starts right now. Our third quarter grading period ends tomorrow. These grades will not appear on a student's transcripts. However, they're a great way to assess your students' current progresses in their classes. These report cards will be posted on an in online Infinite Campus by next Tuesday. College can be expensive. Luckily, we offer connections to many scholarship programs. Here for students at Western to see a full list of scholarships available to your student, visit our Naviance website online or contact Mrs. Kazan in the counseling office. Nearly every morning, our talented West Ranch musicians arrive early to practice music together in jazz band. Our reporter, Kaylin, brings us more about this musical class. As the new year rolls around, the advanced jazz band is preparing harder than ever. Every morning, the musicians arrive early to practice and perfect their music. Right now we're just working on music for our uh, back to school night, but soon we'll be working on our festival music. It's just the fun factor. Every single time I come here, I just have a blast every time. Me soloing, me playing. The first year I was really slow, I was not that good, but then I was going to my second year. Something clicked and I just played well. Right now I want to pursue music in college. I don't know what's going to be after that, but that's what's going to be like my one-way ticket into college, at least I think so. The jazz band not only allows students to grow as individuals, but as a group. To prepare for upcoming competitions, the musicians use teamwork and determination to compose their way to success. I think all the friends that I've made over the past few years have really like influenced how much I enjoy band and how much I want to progress and continue it throughout life. They continually persevere throughout the season to make sure that we're always just getting better and better. With dedication, along with their love of music, there was no doubt that the advanced jazz band is starting off the year on the right note. From West Ranch TV, this has been Kaylin Greenberg reporting. Just as our jazz band has been working hard, ASB has been working hard to plan our 2019 prom. Our reporter Hannah is in the studio with Nico to give us some more info about what we can expect. Thanks, Joel. I'm now joined with two of our ASB members, Ryan and Nico. Thank you guys for coming down. Thank you. So, Nico, what can students and parents expect for this upcoming prom? Okay, so prom is going to be super exciting this year. I'm actually really excited for it. I got to visit the venue. It's at the Peterson's Auto Museum. It's really awesome, and they have a bunch of cars. It's going to be awesome. We just released a theme on West Ranch TV. I think Drew announced it, and it's The Great Gatsby. So it's going to be all 20s and decked out, and it's just going to be amazing. Yeah, I'm excited. And when do prom tickets come on sale? Prom tickets go on sale the three weeks leading up to prom. I think prices starting out at 
140, yeah, uh, with an ASP card, 145 without, and they're gonna go up by $10 each week leading up to prom. So we wanna make sure that you get them early because that way you'll have the cheapest price. And yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Sounds like a great time. Well, thank you both for coming down. I'll yeah, take course. it back to the anchors. Thank you. With so many options to choose from, figuring out what electives to take out of West Ranch can become overwhelming for some students. From game design to culinary, many choices are offered for students to enhance their career technical skills. Let's take a look at some of those classes offered here on campus. In this class, we're kind of just learning about how businesses work and how to set up your own business and like the different marketing skills you'll need to run a successful company. We're kind of learning about, you know, how to run your business and how to structure it so you can get repeat customers and you can keep people coming back and wanting to use your product or service. If you're going into like game design, you learn how to code, how to program functions to objects. Mostly we do coding, we program games, so we can basically create our own games. Uh, today we made uh, chocolate covered strawberries for Valentine's Day. Uh, typical day is we usually cook food. Uh, well, we learn like certain rules of cooking and things you should do when you're cooking and like how to properly cut stuff, stuff like that. So the past four years in West Ranch TV have really helped me to become, become a good communicator. I think that working with people every day has served me well and will continue to serve me well in future jobs where I will be surrounded by people and what we do at West Ranch. Um, as an executive producer, I just make sure everything runs smoothly and working with about like 40 crew members has developed teamwork skills within me and I think West Ranch TV helped me with that. You know, West Ranch is filled with so many opportunities for our students to learn and continue forward with their passions. However, many kids across America still struggle to obtain equal education. Not too far from our very own campus, Pico Canyon Elementary School hosts a program to bring more opportunities to children who need them the most. Bananas are yellow and so are lemons too. Hello yellow, bright and happy yellow. Over a dozen West Ranch high schoolers wake up early to visit their local elementary school in Santa Clarita. Many of them, including Maggie, have been doing this for the past four years. So for those who want it in December, we So every Wednesday morning, uh, we go to Pico Canyon Elementary School and we visit the classes of the special needs students. And we try to make the kids feel welcome in our community since they don't usually get very much interaction with people outside of their class. Through laughing, dancing, and crafting, these young students are provided with opportunities to interact with those from outside of their normal learning environment. The students don't really get a lot of interaction with people outside of their class or like their teachers or family. And I think it's a really good thing for people from Halo or like other clubs to go visit them because then they're exposed to more personalities and other people that don't just treat them like kids with special needs or like people that feel like they need to take care of them. It's good for them to have friends outside of their own classroom and the people that they interact with usually. The students in this classroom are not just from the local area. Children from all around the city come to this program led by Mrs. Merrill, 
for the opportunity to enhance their social skills and have fun with those around them. My name is Michelle Merrill. I'm the SDC teacher at Pico Canyon Elementary. Introduce yourself. What's your name? Camila. Camila, yes. Espino. Camila Espino. What do you like to do when you come to school? Play. Play. A bike. And the bike, likes to ride the bike. The students are taught while still having fun. Some even learned how to say simple phrases in sign language. How do you do please? Please. Please. <gasps> and how do you do thank you? Thank, thank you. you. Camilla's come a long way since she was over in the little kid class, we call it. She's a great helper in the classroom. Some schools don't offer many choices for these students. However, Pico Canyon and Halo make sure that all students have equal opportunities to learn in America. I think Pico Canyon especially is a very welcoming community, so our class always feels very included in every place we go on campus. Um, when they come in on Wednesday, she enjoys socializing with them and seeing new faces and, you know, she knows she's getting older and her, she's changing and stuff and she's going to go to junior high in a few years and on to high school, which is very exciting. So I think she likes being around the bigger kids and they're very helpful to come do the activities with her. Do you like when Maggie and all the kids come on Wednesdays? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even though like some may say that they don't understand a lot of things, when you get to know them you can see that these students are really bright and I think that they could be anything they wanted if they really put their heart into it and made it their goal to do so. Chick. Wow, many old chick. who played a key role in one of our short films. I'm Katie Drakowski. And I'm Hannah Watts, and West Ranch TV starts right now. Hannah, have you been feeling about this crazy weather? It has been crazy, Katie. Over the weekend, I was so happy to see that the sun made its way through the clouds, but I can't believe that the rain and the wind are back. Yeah, and even the hail was a surprising change. I'm ready for the sunshine to come back. And hopefully in time for prom. Coming up soon, on April 27th, those attending will be able to celebrate at the Peterson Auto Museum in LA. Prom tickets will be going on sale this coming Monday. In order to attend prom, you must clear all ASB and library delinquencies. If you are not artistic and need help making a promposal poster, ASB can help. All that you have to do is bring $10 to the ASB office. If you have not pr yet found a prom date, much like myself, don't worry, you're not the only one struggling. Here is a short skit that the, a few of our WRTV members created. So, uh, what am I supposed to say? My name is Garrett Christofferson, and I believe my relationship with my girlfriend is in jeopardy. So, uh, me and my girlfriend Minju have been dating now for seven months, 28 days, and 18 hours. And every moment that I spend with Minju, I, I love it and I cherish it. She's so amazing. But just recently, things haven't been the same. So, uh, so what's your opinion on Garrett? Who? Your boyfriend? You mean Brian? I, th I think the main reason me and Minju are struggling so much is because of her friend, Brian. I'm her actual boyfriend. Minju keeps telling me that her and Brian are just friends, but they just, they haven't been acting like friends. I, Recently, I just, 
they've been doing stuff like they've, I've seen them holding hands and can we cut the cameras real fast, please? Yeah, let's just cut the cameras. Oh, me and you. Everything okay, man? Like, yeah, can I, want us to... can I just get some water, please? Yeah, yeah. let me need some water. <sighs> just... Minju... No. No, I, I can't just sit here and keep talking about it like a baby. I gotta go out and do something. She's my girlfriend and I love her. I, I said it, Minju, I love you. I can't let Brian take you away from me. I gotta go get her back. I don't know if it's a... What? Nothing. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, what do you think you're gonna do about Gary? Well, hopefully I can just talk Minju, to him and leave. I can't take this thing. I love you. I can't take this anymore. I just gotta, I just gotta- Garrett, we're not dating. What's, how, how, hey, hey. how could you do this? Hey, hey, hey. Brian, get out of here! Go make a scene, man. A scene? Hey, you so my girl! There are several other opportunities offered here on campus that allow students to build a foundation for their future career. One student takes advantage of these chances in our sports medicine program. Now let's take a look. There are several programs here on campus that encourage students to be involved and focus on their future careers. More specifically, the sports medicine program on campus strives to keep athletes happy and healthy. Maddie Flatt, a senior in high school, decided to learn from Kylie Trammell, the athletic trainer, in order to get a head start on her career pathway. I'm in this program because someday I want to be an athletic trainer and I think working with Kylie is really helping me achieve that goal and get some experience for that field. With tools readily available, Kylie teaches students a variety of lessons needed to succeed. She gets a lot of hands-on skills, skills that she can take uh, with her to future careers. So skills such as taping, doing an evaluation, special tests, all those things um, which she can take and further her education with in the future. Maddie has not only learned professionalism, but has learned life lessons through her bond with Kylie. Kylie supports me in everything that I do, and she gives a lot of tough love, but it's kind of what I need to learn all the things that need to be learned and just get stuff done around the training room. Overall, the sports medicine program has not only been there for athletes in need, but has helped students like Maddie become motivated to get a jump start on their future careers. From West Ranch TV, this has been Nina Contine reporting. March is almost over and items in the Lost and Found collection will be donated towards the community. Be sure to check on any lost items that belong to you in the SRC 200 building. Not only does West Ranch have beneficial career opportunities, but they also have outstanding sports programs available to all students. All of our winter sports teams play well during their season. Now let's take a look.
We now have Kate here with a bunch of West Ranch TV alumni to see what they're up to nowadays. What, Kate, what do you have for us? Thanks, Hannah. I'm here with some West Ranch graduates to find out what they've been up to lately. What is it like being at Open House and see how much West Ranch TV has changed? Well, uh, you know, West Ranch TV has changed a lot, actually. Um, it's a lot better now. When we were doing it, uh, it wasn't that good, but now it's, it's, it's a lot better. They're really growing, and we love to see that, of course. Uh, young Mrs. O uh, is doing a great job. She always has. Um, yeah, she has taught us many valuable lessons uh, that we still use uh, in our days at college now. And um, yeah, it, it's really good to see how West Ranch TV is doing now. All right, and what college do you go to now, and what's that like? Um, well, I don't know if anyone's really heard of this one. I go to College of the Canyons University. Go Cougars. Uh, yeah, Cougars. Let's go. Go Cougars. Um, and, and I just want to say, a, a lot of people know that when I was in high school, I was really sad a lot. Um, and I think the common conception is that when you get to college, it gets better. It doesn't really work that way for everyone. <laughs> Um, go Cougars. <laughs> All right, and how has West Ranch TV shaped your lives? Are oh, you giving me the hard question? Yeah. Um, well, definitely being in college now, I think uh, you look back at West Ranch TV and you realize that you don't have that sort of opportunity when you go to college. I mean, Specifically at my school, like you can't go and get a camera whenever you want. You have to check it out. You have to have a reason to take it out. And as much as Mrs. O said that we need a reason, you know, sometimes we didn't have a reason. <laughs> and so we just had that freedom to go out and film and make whatever we want. Whereas in college, it's, you can only take it for an assignment and you can, you know, there's no, f I mean, it's fun, but there's no freedom. freedom. Yeah. So definitely not having that part in my life. And can, I can't go back and just screw around. It's all more structured now. And, and I mean, part of it's good being more adult-like, but you know, you kind of want to have fun and goof around at the same time. <laughs> all right. Thank you all so much for coming down. Now let's take it back to the host. I'm going to ask a question here. All right. Yeah, uh, <laughs> 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 Miss Wait, no right, answer. Let's swap with you. All right. So if you could give one piece of advice to these kids here, especially my seniors who only have two more months left, what would you give them? The most important thing is to make sure that you make connections with people and become friends with each other. Because at the end of the day, that's what really matters. The relationships that you make here at the ranch <laughs> is the most important thing. <laughs> Because teamwork makes, teamwork makes the dream work. I need, I need a mic. Um, honestly, I'd say make stuff. We, Wait, I, say that again? Make? No, 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 no. Like, seriously, make videos. You didn't make any videos. No, no, no. Okay, I made. I, I did. I did. She did. I made more than you, Spencer. Oh, no, you did not. <laughs> okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay. So, so let's not dog each other here. But basically, make stuff because, like, literally, like Deep said, you don't get to come back and do that kind of stuff. It's this is one thing that is way different than anything else. So it's important. I would say probably find your niche because uh, me, Spencer, and Deep, we've definitely tried to find our niche. I don't know if we did with Levi's Lucky Finds. You did. But Okay, we did, um, but, <laughs> but definitely try to find your niche, find something that you love doing, um, and just put all your heart and soul into that, because that's, you know, that's what's important, is putting all your heart and soul into it, and that's what makes it good, and that's what makes it fun. And we had a lot of that. Uh, that's because we found our niche. <laughs> Josh? I would have to say, make sure you give Mrs. O lots and lots <laughs> of hugs. <laughs> And sometimes she needs them, sometimes she'll aggressively reject your hugs. But you gotta give her hugs. It's right? important that you at least try. <laughs> Boundaries, that, John. Because that's how you get your participation points. No, it's not. <laughs> um, that's the only reason I passed. Yeah. Uh, and also, going off of what Levi said, you wanna make sure that if you're making any segments, to make them about food because people really like food and if you are going to get food make sure to drive there instead of walk because when you drive there you can get shots of you in the car yeah. and that's an important part of the segment. Oh wait, one last thing. 
Uh, do not date within the program. That's a big no-no. Oh yeah, repeat that again. <laughs> Do not date within the program. That's a really good it's advice. It's only going to cause problems. It's very, very good advice. Only problems. You're still dating. <laughs> You're still dating. Wait. All right. Oh, wait. More? More advice? Um, we, have, we have so much Go Cougars. As as um, We're good, I think. It's good to be back. I wish I could be here every day. You <laughs> no, know, you don't. It, You're in college. <laughs> it definitely... You have um, to move on. It feels good to be a... Peaking, like Spencer yeah. really, Spencer really inspired me to come back and try it, and it, we're finally doing it, and it feels great. I mean, a team. All so, right. So tell the seniors make things, right? Yeah. Don't don't forget, right? Yeah, make things. That's that's the most <laughs> imp- that's the moral of the story. Just make stuff. Because you don't have that next year, do you? Mm-hmm. No. All right, I'm you good. You guys good? Moving on. <laughs> Catch y'all. All right, guys. Thanks. Here, lead actor in both the film Figuring It Out and Struggling. So Garrett, what did you enjoy most about this experience? Uh, I enjoyed, I want to be in the film industry when I grow up, so being able to make this movie and write the scripts and act in it and film and edit it, just all, it, ta- it gave me the experience I need to be able to go forth into the, like, the next level. And just hanging out with all my friends as we like wrote the script and made the movie, we all had a lot of fun doing that. And what was the hardest part, playing someone who got constantly rejected? Well, actually, challenge? it wasn't really that hard at all, because I'm a boy who constantly gets rejected. Mm-hmm. So being able to play one of those, that role wasn't really that hard. We kind of based it around personal experiences I've had. So it was pretty fun, not going to lie. Well, sounds like that was a lot of hard work. Let's take a look at what you and your crew were able to create. <laughs> a lot of hard work. Sorry, man, my bad. Yeah, obviously you can generate. What? Are you always this incompetent? Hey, what's your problem, man? You're just mad on the reason you have an F in class. It's spirit of 12. Oh, what's the spirit of 12? Three rat two. What? The answer, it's three rat two. Thanks. How did you get so smart anyway? Fine. I don't know. Numbers always made sense to me. People did it. So do the math. What about people? You still have to talk to people, don't you? Math, science, they're both very concrete. They're logical and rational. People, on the other hand, they're emotional. They lack consistency. So what do you do all day? Just read textbooks? Yeah. What else am I supposed to do? There's football games and going to movies and, and going to concerts. <laughs> Look, you help me ace this next test and I'll show you how to have fun like a real person. Deal? Deal. Okay, I just, I don't know how you get there. Oh. Parker, good job on your test today. He says thank you. Okay. Dude, what was that? All right, let's go. Where? To Dr. Girls, let's go. Why? Let's go. I was just wondering if maybe you'd like to go to uh, like dinner and a movie sometime. Actually, um, I have to study for a huge midterm. Oh, I could help you with that. What class is it in? Um, it's in math. No way. Uh, what teacher? <laughs> Welcome back, students and parents. 
We're so excited to show you more on what we do every day here on campus. During this time, we will see how one artist expands her talents beyond the classroom, and we will also sit down with a teen who is already on her way to great success. We'll also learn about how to overcome unhealthy habits. I'm your host, Mindy Cho. And I'm Savannah Burroughs. You're watching West Ranch TV. Oh, isn't it right? You gotta leave the mark Everywhere you go It's just This week, encourage your students to go to the College and Career Center. Be sure to find out more information on the First Year Promise program, which gives students the opportunity to, descent, to attend the first year of COC for free. There are so many ways for your child to get involved here on campus, from clubs to sports to rallies and electives. There is never a still moment in the West Grange community. Our foreign language department has a wonderful display, many culture world <laughs> cultures, and you can check them out on the lower campus tonight. One of our here students at campus has artistic talents to share her talent. <laughs> Western student Siang Hyun volunteered for the program Art for Healing, a nonprofit organization that promotes emotional support and healing through art and creative expression by allowing volunteers to draw for patients at their local hospital. So I've been doing art since I was very little, but then I've never been taught like, by an like, actual professor or something like that. She uses her artistic talent to help patients at the Henry Mayo Hospital. Siang spends her afternoons every Monday volunteering at the hospital, talking with patients, and drawing what they want her to draw. Usually it's the patients that are like elderly, like who are old, because they usually don't have their families with them in their room, so they're like more like lonely. Having conversations with people, and I like helping out especially like older peoples because I've been raised up by my grandma so like interacting with them and like giving them arts like it makes them happy which is like a, it's a precious experience to me and, and another patient like she cried because I gave her art like which was really unexpected because it's just a piece of art to me but then to the patient it's like something they can like relate to or like something they can have during their experience at the hospital and, they get to feel like happier like and they usually say you made my day which makes me like want to continue doing this program thank you elizabeth it is always amazing to see how many of our students are always making an impact which shows how many talent students are there in campus absolutely speaking of which don't forget to check out the art showcase happening right now to see more work created by our amazing students this event will be going on all throughout open house so don't miss out Is struggling with their courses, encourage them to visit their teachers during tutorial. For more help, teachers are available from 8 to 8.20 on every day except Wednesdays. Tomorrow during lunch, there will be an essay contest in the library with a chance of winning three scholarship prizes. Be sure to check it out and look in the Daily Bulletin or watch West Ranch TV for coming up scholarship opportunities. Several of our West Ranch TV members participated in the annual Student Television Network collaborative documentary. For this project, they had the chance to spotlight an incoming freshman and how she uses her positive mindset to overcome a daily struggle. It will be presented in coalition with other student submissions at the STN convention next week. Following a private viewing, the team will lead a Q&A about their segment. And here's the finished project, uh, product. Lane one, row 7, Drea Brink is one of the most hardworking and sweetest young girls you will ever meet. She's super passionate and positive everywhere she goes, despite her challenging and painful condition. When I first found out that I had scoliosis, I wasn't as concerned because I was not aware of all the challenges that I would face. Scoliosis is a curvature in the spine that can take on two shapes, a C-curve or an S-curve. While scoliosis is very common in the United States, there is no known cure. Drea must perform breathing, stretching, and strength exercises to help keep the curve in her back from getting any worse. The problems that came with my condition caused me to change my everyday lifestyle. I have to wear a brace 24-7, I can't wear certain clothes, and I cannot participate in most athletic activities. Some things that I do are exercises given by doctors to strengthen my back muscles. Our initial reaction was one of surprise at the severity of the issue and how quickly it came upon 
Drea from her last visit to the doctor. So as far as it affecting our family and our weekend activities, whether being at the beach, at an amusement park, the mall, if you were to see Drea at any of those places, you wouldn't really know that she has a disability that affects her. She just is Drea. Although it can be very difficult at times for Drea and her family, Drea doesn't dwell on how tough life can be. Instead, she finds a way to use her scoliosis to keep a positive mindset. You think about it, it's like the negativity is not going to get you anywhere. Only the positivity is. And in the future, it definitely helped me because I'll think back on this experience as a positive way to lead through my life. Even if I have a challenge in my life, that if I can persevere no matter what. Because I can think on this experience, not about the negative things, but the positive things. Drea uses her passion and positivity to ensure that her condition doesn't hold her back. One thing that helps her most power through her struggles is her love of swimming. At school, when I remember I'm talking to my friends, I always feel insecure about my brace, but when I'm at swim, that all goes away. I like swimming because it shows me that having sclerosis doesn't limit me to like regular day normal kid activities. I can go to swim and be a normal kid. Well, Dre is one of my 13, 14 athletes. She's a gifted young athlete. She, like the others I've coached with disability, doesn't seem to phase them. They treat it as a technical thing they can't fix, and it's just the work ethic they put in. They're the best they can be, and that's all that matters to them. We work around whatever needs to be worked around, and it makes them feel as though for possibly the two hours they're in the water with me, they're at practice, as though it really doesn't exist. Being able to swim with scoliosis allows me to have a positive mindset that in the future I'll get better. Just a reminder that only students with a 2018 through 2019 parking pass are allowed to park on campus. Please do not park in front of the barricades, the no parking zones, or the visitor parking. There are so many award-winning programs here on campus, and we pride ourselves on having a place where everyone can find their home away from home at school. Our robotics team is one of these many places for people who are making great strides in their recent competitions. Maddie is live in the studio to find out more. Maddie? Thanks, Savannah. I'm joined here in the studio with the Project 601 robotics team member, Dimitri Duran. So, Dimitri, I hear that your team has recently placed second in a competition landing in the World Championships. So, can you tell me more about what you're doing with this program? Um, doing with this program, we're more, mostly teaching kids about robotics and how to basically build a robot um, with coding, machining, designing, and even um, business with all the money and stuff. And what's your next step after this big win? The um, next step is to retrain, go over everything we've been on the, um, this year and trying to um, be better next year. And for those of the people who don't know much about robotics, how can they find out more? Um, you can, we have a website. Um, you can go to the West Ranch um, website and find a link to our um, Robotics 691 website. Well, we wish you best of luck in your competitions to come. Ananya had the chance to catch up with Kaysen, another team member of the robotics team with the most recent competition. Let's take a look. I'm here at the first Robotics LA North Regional at Valencia High School, where 36 teams from all around the world are competing for a spot in the next level of the competition. Our West Ranch team, Project 691, is also competing today, and one student, Kaysen, is using his passion for creating and innovating to help his team to victory. In eighth grade, I had a passion for STEM and engineering and technology, and the robotics team gave me a place to learn about robotics and engineering. Kaysen has been able to cultivate his passion of engineering by participating in various competitions and becoming an integral part of the team. It has definitely given me a home. I've been on the team for four years. I met all of my friends through robotics. Not only has the team given him a home on campus, but Kaysen has also had a big influence on his friends. It's been a, a very inspirational part of the team. We enjoy having them there. Participating in robotics has helped Kaysen improve his skills and prepare for the future. I've grown not only in my knowledge of robotics, but also as a person. By joining robotics, students are able to learn lifelong skills that will help them succeed in the future. Kaysen learned this firsthand through his journey in robotics the past four years, and his passion just keeps growing. For the Student Television Network and Western TV, this has been Ananya Marotha reporting. I'm now here with two 
RPTV Rancho Pico members from, that are incoming freshmen. So what are you most excited for for next year? I'm most excited to just have a fresh start and meet new friends. And what activities or programs are you looking to get into? I'm looking to get into volleyball, Define SCV, maybe even RP, or West Ranch TV. And yeah. <laughs> okay, well thank you both for coming down. Now back to the anchors. Sorry, that was really quick. I our future freshmen do here at West Orange High School and we're so excited to incorporate them into our family and hopefully they will try for West Orange TV because it truly is such an amazing program. Yep, prompter keep rolling please. Um, uh, yeah. That's all I have uh, to say. Minji, what, do you have anything to add? No, no? Okay. Well, high school can be an extremely uh, stressful experience with the multiple AP and honors classes offered here on campus and can cut into many students' time of sleep. Many find themselves compensating by drinking large amounts of coffee, but our reporter Kate shows us some of the dangers of having too much. <laughs> Americans drink over 400 million cups of coffee each day. How much of that coffee is being consumed by teenagers, and when does it become unhealthy? Teenagers across the world buy a cup of coffee every day. Many need the caffeine to compensate for a lack of sleep before school. I drink coffee primarily because I honestly don't sleep that much and so when I wake up in the morning I drink coffee to wake me up and I also like the taste of it and even if I do sleep it's just kind of an addiction I think and I sometimes get headaches when I don't drink it and I'm honestly just I love drinking coffee and I love everything that it does. Many teenagers don't realize how serious a caffeine addiction can be and how it can affect your daily routine. It's bad to drink a large amount of coffee because there's a drug inside coffee called caffeine and um, it is a legal mild stimulant and when you drink a large amount of coffee you're going to be getting a large amount of caffeine and there are consequences to exposing your body to um, that drug. Whether it be a quick energy boost or an everyday drink, most teenagers love the convenience of a cup of coffee and don't really think about the consequences. For West Strange TV, this has been Kate McGrory reporting. Thank you, Kate, for the insight on how caffeine can affect us. I will definitely be rethinking that daily trip to Starbucks in the morning that I definitely take every single day. Thank you all for tuning in to this special edition of West Ranch TV to see more of what we do here each and every morning. Before we go, though, let's take a look at one of the more creative segments our crew has had the opportunity to make. In the fall, a few of our West Ranch TV members have the chance to produce music video that's submitted for STM Challenges. Um, let's take a look.
you so much to our music video team. I am now joined with two incoming freshmen who are so excited to join West Ranch next year. So what can you tell me that you're in excited about for next year? All the school dances and just like having fun at high school. And what can you tell me about what activities and clubs you're looking to join next year? I'm looking to join cheer. Yeah, what else? I, I want to try out for West Ranch TV. And why do you guys think that it's so special that you guys get to go to West Ranch next year? Because I think it's such a great environment because like I've seen West Ranch TV like on the West Ranch website and I think it's like so cool like what they do and everything. Thank you guys so much. Now let's take it back to the host. Goodbye. Thank you all for joining in tonight and having a glance at our daily lives. We hope you have a great rest of your night. I'm your anchor, Savannah Burroughs. And I'm Kate Bye. 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 I'm searching for the lost and found But you don't care, you're unaware Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air, like a blazing flare